during those 95 days, I, I honestly don't know if I could have gotten through that time without the uh, Instagram army that was formed uh, to support and love us. Um, in fact, I know I couldn't have. I mean, it was just a saving grace every day at 3 p.m. to sing Nick's song with like 20 people, then to see their their videos and their posts about you know dancing with their families and cheering them on from 90 year old men in nursing homes to people just alone at their house with their dog um it was it was beautiful and wonderful and so much advice and medical assistance and help it was incredible um but yes diving into this book you know there's so much in this book that I didn't share that I couldn't share at the time that I didn't want to share at the time that was things that I wanted to keep private to um, you know, for myself, private for Nick. Uh, and I, I really kind of just gave out the honest truth in this story. So there's a lot, if you think you know this story, there's a lot that you learn in this story that you didn't know. Um, and a lot of people have said that to me, which is, which is really nice because, um, it, it's just, it's nice to know that people are, are still learning and, and understanding, you know, why I wrote this. Um, you know, it's, it's when you have something in your head, um, for me, it was just kind of very cathartic and therapeutic to get it out of my head and put it somewhere. You know, there was, especially there's, there's so much detail in this book. When you go through something like this, this traumatizing, you know, there's dates and, and days and times and, oh no, I was eating scrambled eggs. I remember because, you know, I, Elvis flipped the, the pan over, you know what I mean? Like you just remember these crazy details and especially the medical things and the machines and the medicines and the doctors. And, um, I just didn't, I didn't want that to go forgotten. I knew that there would come a day where Elvis would want to know this full story. And I wanted, I really wanted to put it down so that I had it so that I didn't forget things. Um, but the process of writing was very, very hard. There were a lot of days that I was writing and I couldn't even see the screen because I was crying so hard while typing. Um, or I would go to bed in tears thinking, how did this happen? It just doesn't even seem real. Um, but at the same time, I, I learned, you know, when you look back at something retrospectively, you learn a lot. I, I, I learned actually how quickly this all happened. You know, when you're in it, you're like, day 80, this is a long time. Day 90, I can't believe we're still doing this. But in, in retrospect, you're like, that's nothing. How fast does three months fly by in somebody's life? But when you're living it, it's this nightmare. It's this long going nightmare.